Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we just defeated the Hydra. Um, now, <laughs> the only problem is, we've got to go inside and do some damage. So, let's have a chat to Enrique. Vase, I'll be waiting here. I've brought plenty of medicines and healing crystals with me. So if you get wounded, just let me know and I'll take care of you. You got it, boss. Thanks, but maybe later. Okay, but be sure to let me know whenever you need a little help. Good luck. So we can't actually use Enrique here, sadly. However, once we've done this bit, we can. So, let's go into the deep dark. Um, now, we do have some chests and things to find in here. Some of the last few chests in the game, no less. And here we have Enrique's strongest men. Well, not Enrique's strongest men, but uh, <clears throat> Gaussian's strongest men. And that was the wrong move to use, but that's fine. Go on, Ica. Kick some ass. Now. Uh, we want that. Now, there's nothing down here to use either. Sadly. There's also a more powerful weapon that we can get, but it, I believe it involves a lot of chance. Unfortunately. Because we have to buy it from the traveling merchant. Yes, it was. I don't think it's going to get much harder than that, to be honest. But we shall see. We've got an aura of valor, which is quite nice. Uh, my tablet's gone to sleep. Because it do that. Right. Let's go. So, I'm not really sure what we're going to find down here exactly. But hopefully... It's not going to be too bad. So, let's have a little look. So, we've got a pole that I guess we can go up there. <clears throat> let's continue working our way through these grunts. Hopefully, we can use Rain of Swords. It'd be nice if that would actually kill them all. Uh, yeah. Looks like that is indeed super effective. I don't want to level too much here because I don't want Enrique to be too far. Past. So we've got an X cannon for our ship. That's fine. Okay. So, what have we got going on here? This ship is rather cool inside. It's very steampunky. I, I like it. Let's go up. Keep going up the ladder. See where Gaussian is hiding. Oh, wow. Oh, what? This is cool. So the battle is actually still raging on outside, apparently. Let's have a little look, see what we've got out here. Are these cannons actually firing. Well, they're moving. I'm not sure what they're actually firing on. The fleet, I suppose. Okay. Let's give Reign of Swords a go. See how effective it is against these big armoured guys. Fairly confident it should kill them all. No! Well, how about that? How about that indeed? Oh, we'll continue chipping away. That was easy. What are we actually getting? We're getting like somewhat decent amount of money. I'm also gonna go out on a limb and say uh Gilda is probably gonna level up once or twice. 
which is a bit of a shame. Now, oh look, there's the fleet. Well, there's the enemy fleet, anyway. And thanks, Adobe Creative Cloud. I do not need to expand my workflow whilst I'm doing stuff. Right. So there is actually another chest that we should be able to get here somewhere. The easternmost ladder we need to go down. Well done, Gilda. It would have been nice if you could swap party members in and out a little bit more throughout the game. Have a little bit more control. Uh, never a huge fan, to be honest. Um, when games kind of force you to rotate party members in and out of your team. Although, that's not necessarily a bad thing if it keeps everybody competitive with you. But that's not the case here. Uh, right, so... Uh, I think there is a particular ladder, eastmost ladder that we need to go down. Um, you know what? Fight. And I think we've got the magic, so... Oh, we can't quite use the Claudia. That's a shame. We can use Gunslinger. Let's see that. Bit of a blast from the past. We are getting some good money. So, maybe, just maybe, we can buy some good seeds. See, I thought that was the one that we've come up from, isn't it? The mentions coming up and heading right in my notes. So, <clears throat> we we did not come from here, apparently, because it's not filled in on the map. So this would be the eastmost Wait. No, this should be correct. I say should. Trying to be optimistic here. And somewhere here. Ah, there we go. Moonberry. Eh. That is not what we should be getting. We've missed a chest, apparently. Which is curious. Okay, maybe we've just slightly broke the order. No survivors. No survivors on my watch. Ah. Hey, there we go. Right, so we can't actually hold any more crystals. Uh, so, I'm curious with this because, because we can't hold any more crystals, does that mean that we can't technically pick up that... Uh, case. I couldn't find any information on it. Whether we actually, you know. So it's these crystals here. Yeah. So we need to use another two more of those. Let's get into a fight and just take some damage for a few rounds. Probably the best way to deal with this. Don't want to have to leave a chest here because, as far as I know, um, well, as far as I know, we can't come back here once we leave. So just take some damage. Everybody take damage. Doesn't matter how little damage you take. Really, guys? Just take damage. I suppose that's the detriment of always making sure you're maxed out on items. Right, okay, so 
We can actually use Crew Special here. We can use Prophecy, sure. Why not? Swipe these guys out. Now we can use the yellow moon to our own devices. <laughs> Barely worth our effort. Okay, now we should be able to clear out some of these crystals. Uh, one for you, one for you, one for you. Oh, Gilda didn't even get hit, but that's fine. As long as we can pick these up. Yeah, see, in theory, I would like to believe just going up and touching the chest is enough to technically claim it, but I don't think that's the case. Um, right. Let's go. So. I'm not sure where the next chest is. It's not up here. So I guess we've got to continue going forwards. Which makes sense, yeah. Goes to show how tough some of these enemies are if we're almost max level here and they're still tanking our special move. Fina, that's cool. You can level up Fina. We like that. Ominous Mask, what's that? What does Ominous Mask do? Skullcap. Where is that? Ominous Mask. Ooh, gives a large boost to attack power and defense, but reduces the party's spirit to zero. That seems absolutely worthless. It would have to be a humongous boost. But even then, like, why? I find it very difficult to believe that all of your, um... You could boost your attack to a degree where your super moves are obsolete. <clears throat> Right. This is cool though. And again, this stage is reminding me very much of Sonic or something. Now, Southwest Ladder. I would say this is Southwest. Or would that one be the Southwest? This one might be southwest. Let's go down and have a look anyway. Um, now, once we've defeated this guy, there is actually um, a hidden boss we can go and fight, which we will be doing. It is the Black um, Looper. And I've never fought the Black Looper before, so... Okay, so apparently, something about a pole. Ah, there's a pole here. Let's go down the pole. And hopefully, there's going to be a chest here for us. There is not a chest here for us, which means we've gone the wrong way. Of course. Uh, there we go. Yeah, I probably wouldn't go for 100% complete um, if I played... I don't know, would I? I might go. I might probably. If there was nice, fat, juicy achievements involved. Because I am a sucker for my achievements. But only on Xbox. Trophies and Steam achievements never really interested me in the same way. I've said that before. And I don't know why... I mean, it's the same thing, right? <laughs> Literally, it's the same thing. So, but for whatever reason, something satisfying about that pop when the achievement springs up. Maybe it was because it was the first achievement system. I don't know. Whatever the, for whatever reason, there's something about Xbox achievements. And that's one thing I like about Game Pass. Uh, and using the Xbox Store and Xbox games on PC. You still get those achievements popping. 
wish they were all that easy. Well, to be fair, Gilda, they kind of all have been that easy. Okay. Ah, so that leads... That is taking us to the way that we need to go, surely. Right. So where are we? Go back to the pole and ladder to the left. South. Go to the southwest ladder and slide down the pole. Yeah, we've definitely taken a wrong turn somewhere. I think we've gone down the wrong ladder. But that's fine. At the end of the day, these guys are just money in our purse. I have been watching um, some Oblivion playthroughs, just skipping through some um, in my time off, and it's really given me the itch to go back and play Oblivion. I got such good memories for that game. In fact, Elder Scrolls RPGs, well Bethesda RPGs in general, are my favourite RPGs. My favourite Western RPGs as well. And that's controversial. People will whinge at that, but there's something about that creation engine and the freedom it gives you that no other RPG kind of comes close to. Right, so I'm guessing that is actually the right way to go. Because that leads to the core of the ship. So we need to go down this way. I really need to get back into Skyrim as well at some point. Maybe we'll do an actual playthrough of it. I don't know. I'd, you know, trying to keep an Elder Scrolls game interesting. And I've never actually completed... Uh, properly completed Morrowind. Even though I've put thousands of hours into it. Or should I say... I put thousands of hours into it on the original Xbox. And I'm pretty sure that's why my original Xbox stopped reading discs. That and would you believe um, hundreds of hours into uh, what was that game called? Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball. But that wasn't me. I swears that wasn't me. Actually, true facts, that wasn't me. But yeah, playing that game, that always gives me such a hint, a, a punch in the face of nostalgia, too. Even though I never knew what I was doing in that game. Magic 2. Okay, so we need to burn off some magic dew. Oh, actually, we might be able to do that now. I guess Fina. She's got like 60... 62 MP. I mean, for all tense and purposes, that's like unlimited magic. Um, yeah, the only trouble with Morrowind is... Uh, I did go back and play it a couple of times on the PC, and it crashes a lot. Uh, it's... It's aged. Is it fair to say it's aged? I think it's fair to say it's aged. Magic Do. Oh, is it Magic Do? The one that heals... Ah, that's... Unfortunate. Oh, right, so you only actually have to need... Okay, so you only have to actually... Use one. And you can still pick up the whole stack. Okay, that's actually... Would have been really nice to know. Yeah, sadly, Morrowind has aged terribly. It's one of those games that starts off really frustrating. And there's so much reading involved. Like... There would be whole episodes that would are just reading. It wouldn't just be the odd episode either. It would be a lot of episodes of just reading. So I'm not sure. Okay. Morrowind is a game that really should have been remade. There's so much stuff in that game that, I wish they were all that easy. you know, that game does a lot of things, I should say, better than Oblivion and Skyrim. It also does a lot of things significantly worse. 
but um, yeah, that game could really use a remake. Why have we got like three or four versions of Skyrim, but they've never redone Oblivion, and they've never re-released Morrowind, you know? Admittedly, Morrowind on the series consoles is really good, because they've up it and all that stuff, but it's still got the same issues that it's always had. Right. And the music. I'm expecting big things for Elder Scrolls 6. I'm also very much expecting to be brutally, brutally disappointed. Come on. But we have um, Starfield in the not too distant future. I'm actually really looking forward to that. I'm not sure whether I'm going to do it for the channel though. Because I, I mean, I probably will. That might be our RPG for next year. Because let's be fair, it's probably going to take the entirety of the year to get through it. <laughs> Right, here we go. Let's save. Now, obviously we could go and uh, get healed up, but we're not exactly hurting, are we? Um, there we go. Right, let's see what's going on in here. This looks rather interesting. <laughs> that looks like the bridge. Gaussian must be in there. Well, I guess we just have to break that door down, won't we? That will not be necessary. Ah, uh, is he coming out to face us? Yep. Looks like he's grown a pair. Gaussian. Well, I did not realize that there were still this many people foolish enough to resist me. And you, Vase, have caused me more trouble than anyone. Thanks. It's an air pirate's duty to cause trouble. I feel so accomplished. <laughs> but there's one more thing I'd like to accomplish. I want to rid the world of you. Nice. <laughs> Very amusing, but this world shall be mine. It's a pity you won't be around to see it. Now, you shall feel my wrath. Look. Look. Here we go. This could be rough. I'm... Time to die. Time to die, eh? But which one of us? Um... I think it would probably be a good idea to uh, let's have a look glyph of might let's get buffed up uh, I might want you to use delta shield because I don't know how hmm and you know what Let's get some regeneration going. Gilda? Creates a barrier for one turn that blocks all adverse and only adverse effects. Wait. I mean, I guess we could try it. Is that the same as Ica's ability, though? Whereas Ica's does mention magic. I'm not sure. 
still a bit of uh, blessing should go a long way Delta shield Enrique would be really useful here Now I'm guessing Gaussian is silver, so using yellow. Terminal. Let's see how powerful this is. Oh my. That looks nasty. Whoa, he's just like destroying half of the fleet himself. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Definitely could have been worse. Right, so we're up to 45. Keep buffing everyone. Buff everybody. Um, I think what I'm going to do is just use Delta Shield, because I've got a feeling it's kind of all doing the same thing here. Uh, Gilda... Fina buff. Is it even worth attacking with you? You know what? Glyph of speed, sure. I don't know if he's actually going to use proper spells, but I suppose we're going to find out. Let's just get everybody buffed. Because 25% is 25%. Oh. Yeah. Glad we're definitely going to... We're definitely going to keep Ica using that shield. Definitely. Alright. So everybody's buffed. Cool. You know what? Focus. Just... Just focus. Delta shield. Um, I suppose, really, you can get some healing going. And I guess you can also get some healing going. That should completely heal her up. And we should get him in a nice little stalemate. Where we can just out damage him. Nice. Let's try this. Yeah, we can definitely out heal his damage. If that is his ultimate move, we should be okay. Oh, wait. What's this? Neglora. giving the emulator some trouble, that's for sure. Destroy them. Uh, didn't actually do anything to us. Curiously, and oh, it debuffs us. That's miserable. Uh, let's go for prophecy. Not really sure which one's more powerful. Let's see how he likes this. Probably not very much. It is a shame that we have Gilda because that's going to, I assume, bring the attack damage down quite a bit. Whoa. Okay. Not bad. Not bad at all. Um, is it even worth rebuffing everybody? Maybe. Focus. Special move. Delta. Um, let's actually get you using some magic, shall we? The entire party. Ah. But we can't. Yeah, we can't use Incremus, can we? Because we've got Delta Shield. 
in that to that end I wonder focus focus um, let's try getting some magic Incremus uh, how about trying that blocks all adverse effects and only adverse effects let's see if that is the same I guess that is the same it's just a better version of Delta Shield which is kind of interesting actually obviously that got rid of our um, regen as well but that's okay that is a very expensive thing yeah let's see will this come on yeah okay so <laughs> might as well just go with that then instead um, right let's just go with Pirate's Wrath see how good that actually is um, I want you you know what pop a glyph of speed and I guess get the blessing going again Ah, oh, we could use the Claudia but I don't think that's going to do much yeah just keep buffing I guess and chipping away why not? We've got the spirit to do it. I'm not sure how much damage Prophecy's going to do versus this. So that'll be interesting. I don't, I'm not really sure Glyph of Speed really does much, if anything, either, to be fair. Right. Oh man, yeah, there's no point using Prophecy. That actually does more damage. I'm guessing that's because Gilda is so underleveled. That is a really cool move. Yeah, I did even less damage that time. Yeah, just do Pirate's Wrath. Like, literally, and he's dead. Um focus I guess yeah you know what attack I guess why not area denial that was really easy I kind of prefer Gilda's ability to be honest Because it's annoying with Ika's ability that you can't buff your party once you've used it. Nice amount of XP. Healthy amount of gold, too. And we got the value in the medallion. 